Creality sent me Big Brother of Ender 3 Pro. I have to review it. It's called Ender 3 Max. Let me start by unboxing it. On top of the box you can find some parts of the printer. In this pocket we have paperwork followed by instructions book that have all steps required to set up and use this printer. This is classic ordinary cutter from Creality. And you will get this kind of toolset with 8 GB of RAM SD card. This scrapper looks little bit different with its sharpened edges. It's different from scrapper that comes with Ender 3 Pro. As usual, the next thing is initial white filament to test the printer. This is a control box to control the printer with its classic rotating knob. This one is a power supply of Ender 3 Max. This is the ordinary cable to power up the printer. And the last thing is filament spool holder that differs from Ender 3 Pro's filament holder, which I will show you later. Finally, we are done with the first floor. In the last floor, you will find printer itself. So we have finished unboxing process, now it's time to set it up. Setting up the printer is not hard, you just have to tie some bolts according to the instructions book. By default Ender's Remax doesn't come with Build Touch Auto Bat Leveling Kit, you have to buy and install it by yourself. It's not hard task, they include brief instructions for that. After installing the PL touch, you have to update the firmware according to their instructions. So, I think we are done setting up all things. Now it's time to see the upgrades that come with Ender 3 Max. The first thing that drew my attention was USB port. Ender 3 Pro had a mini USB-A port which is very old nowadays. Ender 3 Max comes with micro USB port which is very popular. The next upgrade is portable filament spool holder on the left side of the printer. You can see they added the axis stabilizer which affects printing quality pretty much. They did a good job by adding strong yellow strings to the bed. Of course, dual fan is required for a good printer, because it will make your printer cooler. Creality added this spring to hold the Z-axis more steady. All metal extruder with stronger spring. This material helps bed of your printer to be heated well and keeps it in more stable temperature. Filament detection model is a nice upgrade to have, of course. Elegant and smooth glass bed. And the most important upgrade is the print volume, because Ender 3 Pro had a problem with this. Now you can print bigger items. That's all for the new features. Let me turn on the printer and show you print quality.
I know I should be honest in this review, so the firmware that Creality provided for the VL Touch had some bugs. So I decided to compile my own. I got initial configurations from this repository and modified it. I will give link to my repository in video description. So you can just install it and use VL Touch without any problems. For the initial print, I wanted to print a model from the SD card that Creality gives with this printer. Then I will print a test cube and any bigger object. Wow, look at this satisfying and smooth first layer. I'm not going to talk anything about print quality. I will just show the printed objects and you will get the answer by your eyes. So this was all for the review of Ender 3 Pro's browser, that is Ender 3 Max. If you wonder whether you should buy it or not, let me tell my opinion. If you like Ender 3 Pro and want to print bigger objects, you should definitely buy this printer, because I call it as best gigantic budget printer.